Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Uh, welcome back to our live stream of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a it's been a few weeks since we got back into this. Last time we tried this, we ended up only recording one episode worth of stuff, and then we got uh, our stream got um, sidetracked by invading civilians live stream. Uh, but here we are. Uh, I'm I'm hoping to do a lot of Dwarf Fortress today, um, and we can see where we left off. So uh, I think the one of the things that we did last time we played was down here in our magma cave, because it's right over the magma. Uh, we started walling off, like building... Sorry, we started building ramps um, up to... Uh, sorry, I'm, I've am i been playing a lot of Dungeon Crawlstone Soup, and so I'm thinking Dungeon Crawlstone Soup key bindings and not Dwarf Fortress key bindings, so I just hit X instead of uh, K for look. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like that a lot. Um... So we, we have these ramps, so we can now build walls on top of these floors to fully, or start to fully wall these off. Yeah. Um, just to protect us. Uh, I realized looking at Dwarf uh, Therapist that we only have one Weaponsmith and Armorsmith, and we should probably change that. I don't know. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's not a bad thing as long as that person... Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the Therapist. Uh, you can see we only have one person, Edsel, over here. She is our only, uh, not our only blacksmith, but our only armorer and weaponsmith. Um, and I guess that's okay as long as she doesn't do anything else. She is set to do architecture. I think I'll turn that off for her in mechanics, but maybe we turn that on for someone else. Like, uh, yeah, you. I don't know. Yeah, I like that. Uh, hey, Saltwater Aquifer, it's good not to dilute the skilled labor. One dwarf should be good. Yeah, I think that's I think that's right. I think we'll do that. So, um, let me clear Dwarf Therapist for you. Um, okay. Sorry, one second. Kind of moving some stuff around here on my on my screen. Okay. Good, good. Uh, all right. So let's uh, first let me build the walls that we had built these ramps for. Uh, and I guess some of these uh, no access to building material. Oh, I thought the I thought these ramps. What are these? Those are. Um, stop. Those are upstairs. I thought it would be able to. I guess maybe I need to build another up downstairs there. Yeah, okay, we'll just do that. Not out of bars, please. Uh, basalt is fine. I guess we'll need to do that everywhere. Here, too. Everything's so far away. Uh, we got granite closer. But most of the stuff is not close by. Most of the rocks are not close by. Uh, that's okay. Phylite's fine. Relucate's fine. Um, and then over here. Yeah, this is a little tedious. I think quartzite. Yeah, we'll do some cobaltite. And here. I think I'll just go basalt for all these. And then we should be able to wall this off. Because uh, you know that our fortress is going to end with a forgotten beast coming coming over uh, all of these uh, walls. You just know it. Cool. Uh, okay. I think that I missed one before. No, there's one right. Oh, there's a there's a there's stone there. Uh, okay, then I will carve uh, an up downstairs right here. Uh, maybe just an upstairs, actually. Or no, a downstairs. Yeah, right there. Good. Yeah, and I guess I should do that with. Oh, this one doesn't even have. This one's fine. Yeah, some of these I don't actually. Some of these are all the way up to the floor. I mean, all the way up to the ceiling. Let me let me clear that. 
Uh, can I clear that? What do I have to remove construction? Yeah. Remove that. What over here? This one. Yeah, remove that. Remove that. I think we can remove all of them up to this point. So remove, 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 remove. Okay. It's just these up here. And then over here. Yeah, this one. This one needs one. Although there's, I think we need to chop down this tree then. So let's do that. So we can make some room. Uh, let me make that high priority. And when I say tree, I mean giant mushroom. Uh, this one here, yeah, these all need ramps here. So build construction up downstairs. Uh, yeah, that we're chopping that down right here. Uh, right here. Uh, actually, this one's fine. This one's fine. Wait, did I really mess this up? It's just... Oh, yeah, all of these are fine. I didn't need to put any of those down. All right. What's wrong with me? Uh, we can clear all these. Okay, great. Uh, hey, Dorkling. You almost missed this. Well, it's... Uh, we just started. We just started. And I didn't really advertise this. Um, I was planning on streaming, but I wasn't exactly sure what time. And stuff always happens. So I thought I'd just kind of wing it. And uh, I just advertised it like 15 minutes before we started. So uh, I'm glad you could make it. Welcome, Dorkling. I know, I, I know some other... I think Dave and... I think Siv and probably Dave are also streaming at the same time. We still have a whole bunch of undead folks outside of our fortress that just refuse to leave because our fortress is just too lovely with the beach stuff going on here. Um, our food, I think our food might be a little bit of a problem. I think we have meals, but we don't have any meat. Well, that makes sense that we don't have meat. Um, we don't have plants, though. That's concerning. We have nine drinks. That's, you know, okay. Uh, you do, you do, you do, Storkling says you do use, you do, you do sound alerts on this app. How do, oh, how do you? How do you do sound alerts on this app? I, on YouTube? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I assume you just do like the ring the bell. You're very tired. No, I, I, I think I was also, I'm, you know, trying to just uh, make sense of what you said. I, I am also a little tired. Um, let's see. Uh, so the food, food-wise, we right. We started planting some above-ground crops here last time, and that's lovely. Did we? Um, why aren't we? Did we make... I think we, we didn't... Did we make these plots and not plant anything in them? I think we must have. All right, so let's do spring. Um, I think we want food. Uh, pearl millet. Rice. Whip vine, sure. Blood amaranth. And then I think more millet. Uh, let's do summer. I'm not exactly sure what season it is right now. Um, kind of similar thing. Blood amaranth. Millet. Oh, that one is doing whip vines. Oh, did I? That was whip vines that season. This season, rice. Oh, I totally messed this up. It's blood amaranth. I went pearl millet in the second season, then blood amaranth. Okay. I just want to look at spring for all these. Okay. All right, we got spring and then summer. Uh, let's do with vines. Uh, you never noticed elephant head amaranths? The bell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the bell, the bell on, on YouTube should give you those notifications. Um, all right, we got spring and summer, spring and summer, spring and summer. Uh, then uh, autumn. 
you know what? Maybe autumn. I guess winto should be fallow, maybe. Uh, whoops. Oh, I just uh, I just messed up. No, that's that is winter. Winter is fallow. Winter is fallow. Winter. Winter be fallow. All right, we got stuff for spring. No, we. I'm so confused about it. like it keeps changing what season I'm looking at. We got summer, all the things for summer. We got autumn. We actually have stuff for autumn. And then winter should be fallow. Okay. Cool. I think we finally got got some stuff. That's not as many above ground crops as I thought we would have. Uh, Dorkling says, Elephant head amaranth is an above ground crop. They can be planted in all seasons. The leaves are edible, raw or cooked, and the seeds when cooked. Oh, nice. Do you have that in your own garden, Dorkling? Um, some dwarves like elephant head amaranths for their leaf coloration. Uh, and then, yeah, we don't have any seeds down here. That's very disconcerting. Uh, it's possible in our cave that we have stuff that we can gather. That's fungi wood. Yeah, we got plump helmets down here. Do we have... Um, maybe in our... A uh, higher cave level, wherever that is here. No, not here. Where is it? I know there's another level that we're out and about in a cave. I think we maybe blocked it off. Let me look at my hotkeys. Uh, mid caverns, F8. Oh, well, really? I said here? Oh, yeah, I guess so. We just need to put a door or something in there or a bridge. Um, and then we have Magma Workshop, Low Caverns, Magma Workshop. Magma Workshop and Low Caverns, I think, are the same. Shift F1, Shift F8. Oh, here, Shift F8. This is what I was looking for. This is Low Caverns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think here, with this, we have a bridge here that's down right now. Let's make this a zone. Um... To right, we already have a fishing water source zone here, but now we're also going to make a gathering zone. Um, yep, yeah, I guess all this, and this is gonna be um, gathering picking. Okay, cool. They can't get to that entire area. Can I? Um, I want to, I want to remove part of it. Although I want to be able to see what I'm removing here. Is that right? I think maybe one more square. Yeah. All right. I think that should be good. Um, saltwater aquifer. I hope no webbing, uh, forgotten beasts come. Dorkling says I'll have to plant it. Yeah, uh, I hope so too. Although I think any Forgotten Beast is still going to be easier to deal with than uh, than the undead siege that we've had going on since pretty early in this game. But I am worried about the food. We do have so we have people fishing in the caverns, um, in these caverns. That is happening. Um, I assume we have a bunch of fisher dwarves. We have zero idlers. Um, And we do have... We were working on our dining room, right? And, and kitchen area. Let's see. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put in some doors if we have them. And we have a bunch of basalt doors. Let's put them all in. Lovely. Um, and then do we have tables? It's always nice to do, like, a hall, kind of. We have five basil tables. That'll do for now. Whoops. That'll do. And basil thrones. Everything's basil over here. And then we'll need to make more. But that's a start. 
Um, I think the idea was that this would be a storeroom, and this would down here would be the kitchen. So let's make a stockpile room here for food. Cool. And uh, let's make sure that it's set to uh, stuff we want. We don't want anything unprepared here. We just want prepared stuff. Um, I think. Hmm. We just want stuff we can eat. No extracts, no press, no press material. Or paste. Or tallow or fat. I don't think. I mean, it might not be the worst to have that stuff here. Yeah, whatever. I mean, this is where we're near where we're going to be doing all the other stuff. It's probably fine. Just allow all. <laughs> Just allow all. And then here will be the kitchens. Uh, workshop. We already have a kitchen above, but we're moving that stuff. I think the kitchen right here. Out of basalt. Um, then a still down here as well. Right here. We want a, f a butcher shop. I think right down here. And I suppose a fishery. Uh, and then we'll also get a room for tanning and refuse. Let's mine some of that. This will be the tannery. Um, and soap maker shop. And then I think... I think over here... We will have... A refuse area uh, with several doors. Yeah. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I think that'll work. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I think that'll be lovely. And then let's make sure... I don't think I have a lot of managed jobs. Yeah, I think we're trying not to do so many managed jobs this, this playthrough because uh, I think they have a tendency to... I'm realizing over time that managed jobs... Having a ton of managed jobs has a tendency to stop stall production on stuff. Um, so let's just go down to our workshop and tell them to make more... Uh, more tables... And then I think we have another, do we have another mason shop? We do, uh, chairs, thrones. Cool. Uh, so we just put an eight of each. Uh, we are training up here, actually up here. And we have fortifications all around. We also have a dead dwarf here. Do we not? We're not burying people like we should be. Use for burial, yes. Yeah, we have an available coffin. What are people doing? Uh, don't allow pets. Uh, use for burial. There are a few that we hadn't set, but... It looked like we had an empty one. We also put down our first uh, mo uh, memorial. And yeah, we... Can we make this a memorial hall? Or does that make it dedicated to that person? I'm not sure. Um, do we need more slabs? Do we have any more ghostly visitors? I don't think we do. Yeah, I think we're fine. Everyone's busy. And we're not getting any new dwarfs. That's the thing. Any new dwarfs that come are going to get slaughtered. I think we really we're waiting for like... A caravan to come and and successfully wipe out this army. I'm not sure what else we can do, really. Um, other than just start... Yeah, I mean, we just gotta live underground, really. 
Um, we made a general temple somewhere. Um...